okay, bye. He wants to play with his baby shark. I thought I would make a video about getting ready. I've done my skincare and prep and all of that. I'm terrible at these videos. I have terrible social anxiety. Filming and talking is really not my thing. So we're gonna try. So first I'm starting with a little bit of foundation. This one is the Hourglass Ambient. That's really satisfying. Sometimes I think getting ready in the morning and doing my makeup makes me feel like I can do anything and to take on the day. I'm using a lot of hourglass today because I just got a bunch of stuff and I really like it. Sorry if it's a lot of <laughs> hourglass stuff. Go like this. There's a little bit of bronzer. This one is from Charlotte Tilbury. Oh my gosh, I have a pit in my stomach right now doing this. I don't know why. What's wrong with me? I don't know, I'll just do this. Something like this. Bronzer. I'm gonna use a cream blush. This one is from Ilia. I feel like you just kind of put it on your, directly on your face, I don't know. Ooh, I never use this one, so I don't really know how it works. I love blush. I feel like I have a problem. I have way too many. There's no way I can use all of them. I I'm just gonna do the powder blush first and then the setting powder. This is the powder one, again, from Hourglass. Not very good at this, guys. I got something on my pants. Oh no. Oh, wait, I just wanna show you this. Ah, so cool. Got all these really pretty colors, like these reddish pink ones. I will use some of it just to show you. That's nice. This one has a lot more pigmentation than the other one. Give my eyebrows a brush because, oh my God, they look nuts. We're going down. Oh my God. They really have a mind of their own, these, these things. I'm gonna move on to my eyes. Find a brush. Get yelled at for this, but I like to use the bronzer that I used on my face, on my eyes. Oh my god, there's something in my eye. Oh, every time I do this, everyone's like, "Where? What eyeshadow are you wearing?" And I say, "I'm not. It's not eyeshadow." Oh my god, it looks like I'm crying. I look so sad. I have terrible vision. I can't really see that far in front of me. I've worn glasses since I was maybe nine years old, and, and I wore them until I was 13. I used to do gymnastics when I was younger, and I had to wear my glasses while I was doing gymnastics, and my glasses would come off, and then I used to have this thing that kept my glasses on while I was tumbling. What was I talking about? Oh yeah, gymnastics. When I got contacts when I was 13, it was so much easier. It took me forever to master a round off back handspring. And once I got contact lenses, I within weeks mastered a back handspring. And I think it was because I couldn't see and then the glasses were very disorienting. Oh my God, Tate? Yes? Can I help you? He wants me to throw this. This is his favorite toy. <laughs> I call this baby shark. You know how I know it's his favorite toy? Because there's still a squeaker in it. He's eaten all the fins and everything else off, but he kept the squeaker in, which means he loves it. That's how you know. All right, go get it. Moral of the story is contacts were weird because you have to touch your eye. And once I got used to them, I was competing in gymnastics. It just became a lot easier. I don't know. Now I'm just kind of rambling. I don't know why I'm telling you that story. What am I doing next? Eyebrows, I guess. I remember one time I did a Vogue Beauty Secrets video. I had to go to the Standard Hotel and I had to bring my makeup bag and I forgot eyebrow gel and I used mascara on my eyebrows instead of an eyebrow product. People were like, that's really cool. Or people were like, why the hell would you do that? But it was just because I forgot eyebrow gel and I needed something to glue them down with or keep them in place. I really upset a lot of people by doing that. Hot tip, when you're in a pinch and you need something, mascara, it, it kind of works wonders. I'm getting less nervous as this video progresses. My social skills are not always very strong in the beginning. Once you get to know me, I feel like I start to open up. This is clear eyebrow gel. People don't scream at me. I use normal products most of the time. I love doing winged eyeliners. I feel like I'm oddly kind of good at it sometimes. Not all the time. Sometimes I really suck at it. Or I just kind of do like a pencil like this and kind of elongate the ends. Doing this into a phone is really hard. I might need to use a mirror. I don't want to mess it up in front of you guys. Are you really good at it? Doesn't look like it. I'm no Ariana Grande, okay? She's incredible. I've seen her do it in one swipe. She's amazing. Me? Not so much. Oh my god, yeah, that's 
I also have crazy control over my eyes. Like when I poke it and do the, these things, like I don't flinch because I touch my eye every day. Eyelash curling. Oh, I'm so messy. I forgot, I like to smudge my eyeliner a little bit. I love trying different mascaras, but I definitely think I value volume over length for my personal taste. Ooh, cool, disco. Last but not least, I'm going to do a little lip. This one is uh, Makeup by Mario. I just got it. I like lip products that feel like a lip balm but have a little bit of pigment to them. I like something like this. This is good and it has a nice texture. She's a wreck. Hair. It's such... <sighs> Having hair is an effort. Maybe I'll just do a high, tight situation. That's it. Okay, bye! <laughs>